is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have another day of wwe action figure and aew figures we got a aew figure to show off to you guys but today is day four i do believe of the san diego comic-con at home 2020 reveals uh you guys know that this year they've been doing it differently man every single day this weekend we have just got new figure images of new wwe action figures that we're going to be getting this year going into 2021 and today's no different we got some more stuff coming at you so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about these images guys got more than we got yesterday so i'm actually pretty excited to show this off but uh some of the stuff we already knew we were getting but these are just the final images and it looks like these are going to be the figures moving forward and then we do have a brand new series that we did cover on the channel and predicted that it would happen and it came true to fruition so i'm excited to get into that but let's go ahead and start off guys let's start off with the survivor series 2020 slash Survivor Series Elite Series 3 pretty much is what it is. You guys know the uh, first set had AJ Styles, Bobby Roode, Alexa Bliss, and the second set had Jeff Hardy, Don Morocco, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Alicia Fox. So this series is going to include first none other than Drew McIntyre. The first one is the WWE Champion from Survivor Series. You guys can see here it is going to come with a cloth raw t-shirt, which is nice. You love to see the cloth raw t-shirt. Shirt. Very unfortunate that it's the same exact head sculpt, and I do believe it's going to come with two interchangeable heads. So it's going to come with the same two interchangeable heads that we got with the Elite 71 Drew, or I think it was Elite, yeah, Elite 71 Drew and the NXT version. No tag team championship or nothing like that. No WWE championship. This is from Survivor Series either 2017 or 18. It could have even been 19. Just a regular Raw t-shirt, two interchangeable head sculpts, but we figured this would be the case. I, I remember even doing a video where we talked about this exact this exact figure. We talked about us getting this with a Raw t-shirt, and it would uh, pretty much be a re-release of the Elite 71 so that you could get your hands on that figure because we know how, how expensive it is. We even did a video talking about how expensive the Drew McIntyre Elite is. Even if you missed out on the NXT version, you missed out on the Elite 71, this one should be much easier to come by, and hopefully you can get the WWE Champion in your collection when this drops. I would imagine this is going to drop pretty soon, maybe in the next couple months because nearing Survivor Series, these should be waiting on your shelves. I'm pretty sure these are going to be Walmart exclusive again, and if they're not, then uh, I do believe Ringside Collectibles is going to have them, and if you want them, then use promo code MDTOYS when they go up for pre-order, and you will be able to get these, but the True Back Attire Pretty much a re-release, but it is cool for those that missed out on it. And you do get a cloth raw t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Next up in the series, guys, is going to be John Morrison. Now, this figure is fantastic. I love this. It's basically a re-release of the Elite for John Morrison, but it is a repaint. We get a brand new head sculpt, SmackDown Tag Team Championship from the Ruthless Aggression era. This is a beautiful piece. I love the maroon color that they got going on on the pants. It's like a shiny maroon pewter type color with some gold accents it's got gold on the uh the the tassels on the boots gold belt this is a perfect figure this is going to be one of the best figures of the year like it just looks so good hopefully it keeps that same articulation that the elite four had because the elite four feels so good in the hand and i hope this one follows suit and the head sculpt's just so good i love that young johnny nitro johnny morrison looking figure right here uh, obviously when he was tag teaming with the miz this looks great you could even use this as a johnny nitro if you wanted to very easy to do uh you could even get two of them make a joey mercury this is a beautiful figure. This is the kind of figures I wanted to see ever since John Morrison came back to the company. So two John Morrison figures already announced for Elites this year that we're getting. And I'm excited for this one. This one looks absolutely perfect. Cannot wait for that one, guys. Next up, we have a 2001 era Kane. Now, this one is another one that we predicted that, you know, there's so many great attires for Kane. And there were so many things they could do for Survivor Series Kane. And they gave it to us like this. Uh, they did get the gloss on the boots, it looks like, which is beautiful. One thing I will say is the mesh on the chest and the legs is sort of a gray color. Not the, you know, not the biggest deal. I would have liked to have seen, like... You know, maybe some dots or like something that resembled mesh, but the gray is not bad. I love this attire. Uh, we've been waiting on a cane like this for a while, so I am excited to get this. Very nice looking cane. Comes with a Survivor Series chair. Interchangeable hands that do have a skin tone peg on the right hand. Don't know how they can get away with that. 
but uh, it is there. Not a new head sculpt, which is also kind of disappointing. I really wanted to see a new Kane head sculpt for this guy, but I am loving the attire at least that we're getting, and it doesn't have any studs on the belt. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it is kind of just standing out to me. It kind of just looks like a black, just solid square on his, uh, on his crotch piece there, so I don't know about that, but I am really hyped to put this cane in my collection, so that will be something that I really, really want to do, and uh, I can't wait to hunt these figures down, man. I never saw the Series 2. I never got to see the Jeff, the Don Morocco, the Shinsuke, or the Alicia Fox at retail. Hopefully, that's not the case for these, but the last figure in the series, guys, which we also predicted is going to be the SmackDown Live Samoa Joe from 2018, I do believe, and it is in the blue and black shorts with the WrestleMania head sculpt, and it does look like they might have fixed the... They, they, they fixed the chin a little bit. It looks like they fixed the chin a little bit. They probably added a little bit of paint there. It still looks a little bit odd from the side, but the Samoa Joe looks damn good. We know, we know how good that head sculpt is. We know how good the Samoa Joe figures look updated like this, and the blue looks really strong, and it looks like we have updated all of our Samoa Joes now. We can finally complete the Samoa Joe quad feed there with the green attire, blue attire, uh, yellow attire and red attire. Now we're just kind of missing that lightish pink color, which is basically the red attire. But the Samoa Joe looks really good. Sleeveless SmackDown Claw t-shirt, which goes along with our uh, our Drew McIntyre Raw one. And we do get a white towel, as Samoa Joe does. Interchangeable hands, beautiful looking Samoa Joe. But let's move on, guys. We also have a look at some Decade of Dominance figures that are final uh, pieces here, which look so good, man. They look really, really good. Some of them, there are a few things that we're going to get into that I don't like about them, but let's go ahead and dive in, guys, into the Decade of Dominance wave here. We are starting things off, guys, with The Undertaker. This is The Undertaker with his black gloves. This is a perfect head scan. I think the head scan looks really, really good. I love the trench coat. I love the tie. I love the hat. I love the hands. This is a real... What the hell is this? I love the way this figure looks. It's basically... It's pretty much a re-release of the, of the WrestleMania 31 Heritage Undertaker. However, it does have a bunch of upgrades to it. So it is more accurate. It's got the black gloves. It does have the nice hat. It's got a cloth trench coat and cloth tie, which looks so good. The head sculpt looks amazing. This is a really good Undertaker figure. Really excited to add this one to the collection. And you guys can see the mock image as well. Looks good in the pack. I like the packaging that it's got going on right there. Next up, we do have Randy Orton. Now, Randy Orton does look fantastic as well. I'm definitely going to go with the longer head sculpt, and I'll probably get two of them. You know, i got to add to the Randy Orton shelf. Probably grab a debut Orton with the longer hair, and I think he did hurt his shoulder, so that's why he comes with the arm sling, and then uh, he, he came back with the shorter hair, so I'll probably do uh, one of each. But when I think of this attire, I think of the longer hair Orton. So I am probably going to put him on the shelf that way. But again, I'll probably get two of them, end up getting two of them, putting one on each. And uh, I like it a lot. That that younger Orton with the longer hair is a perfect head sculpt. I love it, man. That that looks so good. I've been waiting for them to release this Orton for a long time. So a, uh, a, a young Orton looks absolutely perfect. Next up, guys, is John Cena. Now this one... I am not too excited about, okay? It's going to have those regular ankles that we've come to know. He's got regular black wrist tape. Uh, the navy shorts are what they are. They kind of look like the uh, Elite 76 John Cena legs. Um, they have the defining moments John Cena head sculpt, and the eyes just are looking really weird with the True Effects technology. So it's the defining moments uh, second version John Cena head sculpt, but it does have True Effects. And uh, this 33 jersey and everything. I'm just, I, I'm not, I'm not very excited about this release. I am gonna grab it though because I, I kind of want the white bucket hat for some fix-ups and stuff. And I might, you know, end up using this to uh, make a couple fix-ups. You actually could make a decent-looking Cena if you did, uh, if you just put a white tee on this guy with the bucket hat. That would be a fix-up from uh, SmackDown. So I'll probably end up doing something like that, trying to make an earlier era Cena, but uh, the, the basic figure out of the packaging, I'm not too happy with. I'm not big on the head sculpt. I'll probably end up switching it uh, or something like that, but John Cena is kind of a bust for me. Not very big on that one. Next up is Nation of Domination, Mark Henry. Now, this one's pretty solid. I do think his figures are really hard to pose around. I feel like his figures should probably be a little bit bigger. He does come with the barbell and the weights, and uh, I like the attire. The attire looks really good. I think the head sculpt's pretty solid. It does come with a Nation of Domination hat. This goes perfectly with our Nation of Domination Farouk 2-pack that we got with The Rock years ago. So this is a pretty nice piece right here. You could also pair it with some other parts of your collection, but... Mark Henry is right there. Next up in the in the Decade of Dominance, we also have Natalia, who does come with the Divas Championship. This figure's kind of eh for me. 
Uh, she's got her red hair. She's got her old school blue attire. Nice looking boots. I do like the boots on this thing. She's going to come with a little table to introduce the WWE Women's Divas Championship right there. Uh, not very big on this release. Just, you know, not, not very uh, big into this. But it would be cool to kind of have it up next to your Elite 74, Natalia. So if you want to do that. But I, this is probably a skip for me. If I see it at retail, probably won't grab this one. Um, next up, we also have more Decade of Dominance figures. And the next one is going to be Kane, who I think is probably the strongest in the set or one of the strongest. It's pretty much a re-release of the Ringside Exclusive Kane with the beautiful boots. Uh, two interchangeable head sculpts. I love the uh, the burn victim cane head sculpt here with the you know the hair on the back of the head. He's got like the the burn of the smoke or whatever you want to say on his face where he unveiled himself on Monday Night Raw. This is a beautiful piece of a head sculpt, man. This is a great head sculpt. I love that cane head sculpt. It, it captures the moment perfectly. I love that he's pissed off. I'm not too big on the regular face. It just kind of looks odd to me with the bald head sculpt. I am going to get like a black towel, probably put it over there and put it on the display over there because I did miss out on that ringside exclusive cane, but this looks good. You know, I'm not big on the mask either, but maybe have him just hold the mask while uh, on display with the, uh, you know, the longer head sculpt where he unmasked himself. But I am a fan of this figure, man. I, I like it. I, I love this era of Kane. 2002, 2003, 2004. Ruthless Aggression era Kane is, is beautiful, man. I, I love it. So I'll definitely be copping this one. Next up is going to be Triple H. And I am not the biggest fan. I don't know what it is, but I feel like, is this not the same head sculpt that we got with the Fan Central? Kind of feels like it's the same head sculpt as the fan central right here and the nose just kind of looks weird in some of these images i know triple h he has kind of a weird nose anyway i'm in the same boat so I, I you know i know exactly how he feels about that one but in some of these images his head uh his nose just looks kind of odd he's got the world heavyweight championship sledgehammer in the beautiful uh you know slide shorts gear is what i like to call it because it's like black sliding shorts you usually wear myself so that's what they remind me of you got the red triple h the game logo this looks good it does look good um, you could switch out the head sculpt, I guess, but I think uh, the likeness is there. It just looks like the same head sculpt that I wish we could get a newer, uh, old Triple H head sculpt. That would be nice to see, but I do like the way Triple H looks. Next up, guys, we have kind of a, sh a shake in my head moment. I'm not exactly sure why they did this, but Kofi Kingston. This is pretty much a re-release of the Elite Four Kofi Kingston in the yellow gear. I love the gear. But why in the heck are his knee pads that way? I guess because Kofi Kingston's molds are always like this. He hasn't had knee pads in a really long time. So I guess they just have to change the head sculpt and then they can't really they can't really change this. I'm I like it's like once they change a set of rules for a figure like Ricochet and then uh, some figures, it's like they have to roll with it. Like Johnny Gargano can't change the short kick pads. Um, they could change the torso, but it's like that with Kofi Kingston here where they can't change the knee pads. They can't give him knee pads, so they just put the design of the knee pads on the side of the legs and don't give him knee pads. Not exactly sure why that is. Maybe there's some yellow knee pads out there somewhere, some green ones or, or something that we can put on this figure because I definitely have to fix that. Looking like yellow tape underneath won't be the biggest deal, but that is super odd that uh, he is not going to have knee pads. And I love the attire. The yellow is really bright. I love the, the colors that we got going on. The jogging pants look much better than the first version. And he does have his clapping hands from his entrance. I love the Kofi. I think it looks great except for the knee pad problem. But Kofi Kingston is looking pretty dead gum good outside of that. And then we also have Beth Phoenix, who is uh, looking good in her green. You know, I'm not, I don't really like the attire. I like the graphic on her chest there with the, you know, the Phoenix coming out there. Women's Championship, solid looking head sculpt. She kind of looks skinny for Beth Phoenix to me. But, um, you know, it is what it is. She's got interchangeable hands. This will definitely be her best figure because she will have double-jointed knees and stuff like that. I do think the lightness is there. She just looks a bit skinny for Beth Phoenix. And then the last figure in our Decade of Domination wave, guys, is going to be Big Show, who looks really good. This is a really good Big Show. I don't know what it is about the Big Shows, man, but... We get really good Big Show figures. This is a beautiful head sculpt. I love the pissed off Big Show head sculpt. He got the steel chair. This is a good release. I think this is going to be up there with his Fan Central figure of how good it is. So the Fan Central Big Show is looking really, really strong. Love the way the face scan looks. That is going to be a very good Big Show figure. 
And then, last but not least, guys, we have a Darby Allen. We have a Darby Allen from AEW right here. And this figure looks so good. I, again, cannot wait for the AEW figures. I think this is a beautiful release right here. You got your face paint. You got your shorts. You got all your tattoos. This is a really good one. I love the way this guy looks. I think that he looks fantastic. He is going to come, apparently, with either a rubber coat or a soft style coat. I don't know the, deal, the details just yet. And it looks like he is going to be the Chase variant version. And he's going to come with a skateboard. So this uh, Darby Allen looks sick AF, man. I think they're doing a lot of things with this. He's going to come with a skateboard and all kinds of stuff with the Darby Allen figure. So the AEW figures that we've gotten so far, we've only seen three of them. But, oh my god, man. They look so good. I cannot wait to see them. You know, when we get them in hand, when we see them on the shelf in package, and maybe we'll get some more releases for those and some more reveals for those. But that is going to do it for your day four reveals, guys. We got the decade of domination photos we also got the darby allen and we also had images of the new survivor series figures but that is going to do it for all the reveals today i still think we have two more days of reveals for you guys so stay tuned turn on your notification bell we will have more reveals for you guys coming soon in the next couple days so stay tuned it'll be around this time tomorrow and on monday i do believe again so kind of weird that you know it's just every single day man we're just getting new reveals i love it i freaking love it that we're getting just all this stuff coming at us at once but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.